What's up everyone, I'm Mukagamayama, you're watching the On Live Show, this is a movie review show, and this week I saw The Grey and Kill List. Both of these movies were pretty intense, and I have to say, I was completely stunned after seeing both of them. But let's jump right into the reviews. <laughs> So as I said, The Grey is a really intense movie. It's uh, Liam Neeson's newest film, and it's it takes place in Alaska. There's a plane crash, um, and he has to survive with the rest of the passengers who still are alive and just try to make it to some kind of um, civilization of sorts. And Liam Neeson's character is deeply depressed because his wife... Uh, has just died from some kind of unknown disease, and um, we are introduced to him uh, at a point where he is uh, on the edge and is willing to kill himself, um, but he ends up taking the plane home, and um, during the crash, um, and after the crash, you constantly see him uh, go back and remember his wife. Um, and every time they did this, they had this really cool way of just um, showing the, of just showing them both together, and then um, kind of ripping them apart and kind of thrusting him back into reality. And I thought that was such a cool way to do it, um, the way that they did. And um, it was just something that I hadn't really seen before, and I was really uh, uh, impressed to see. What made this movie so intense was just how realistic it was. The plane crash felt so claustrophobic. Everything was shaking and you could just feel everything that was happening. When they're uh, walking through the snow, you feel, you actually feel cold. When they get attacked by the wolves, you're not expecting it just as much as them. And it's just so gritty and so um, accurate, I think to what it would be like to be in that situation. I also liked how they kept a lot of jokes in this movie because in a situation like this, it would have been really um, normal for all these men to just joke together and um, make fun at each other and such. And I thought that was a really good thing to keep in because um, you would see stuff like this and um, it was definitely something that added to making it feel really realistic. Two things I wasn't crazy about were how uh, at the very end of the movie, Liam Neeson, who obviously uh, survives and is the only one left, which I didn't like, uh, he ends up walking straight into the wolf den, which they were trying to avoid the entire movie. And um, in Liam Neeson's character's background, he's supposed to be a um, complete uh, genius when it comes to uh, knowing everything about the wolves and um, the dangers of the wilderness and stuff like that, and to have him literally walk straight into the wolf den, which they had been uh, so carefully trying to avoid, just seemed really unrealistic, and um, I just felt like that was kind of a weird way to like end the movie and just have him like end up somewhere where it went wouldn't make sense to ha have him end up, but I did like how they ended it with him final with him at, in a final battle, kind of accepting uh, that he was going to have to duke it out against all these wolves. But um, still, I wasn't crazy about how they led him right into the den. I think all the performances were great in this movie. I love Liam Neeson; he's one of my favorite actors, um, and I thought all the characters in this movie were great. You definitely get to see uh, most of them kind of flesh out and uh, you get to really know who they are and like uh, what they have for themselves at home and whatever because of how they um, introduce all the wallets and such um, and definitely towards the end where you see all their families and whatever. So I thought that was great. I really was impressed by this movie. When I saw the first trailer I knew I was going to like it and I'm so glad that I got to see this. I'm so glad that it was as good as it was. So it's definitely worth seeing, and I would totally recommend that you check it out. So 
So next up is Kill Us. This is a European movie, and I saw this on demand, and I can only say what the hell is happening in this movie. I was so, like, shaken by what was actually going on in this movie, and just the uh, intensity of the violence and the um, murder scenes and all of that, and all the cult stuff. Which ended up in the, which ended up being in the last uh, couple minutes of the movie, so gripping, and I just really was um, kind of puzzled by the whole thing, and the story uh, is played out in a way that seems really choppy, and you don't really ever get any connections between what's actually happening and why things are happening and all of that, and it really didn't get you into the story as much as the violence did and uh, as much as the just um, complete chaos of the whole movie did. I love the cinematography in this movie and the performances were really strong. I just wasn't crazy about how they um, were carrying through and just um, going without explaining anything and it was just really kind of a mess of a movie. This is probably some of the most intense killings I've seen in a movie in a long long time. Uh, the scene where they have the librarian, oh my god, it was just so crazy. It was just like the most brutal thing I could have imagined. All the cult stuff was just really kind of freaking me out and I was just like, what is this movie doing? Why, why are things happening the way they are? And it was just I mean, I was really interested by this movie, and I um, was I enjoyed watching it while I was watching it. It was really gripping, as I said, and it kept me interested. But I, it wasn't clear enough for me to want to like um, do anything else with it. It was really just um, an experience for the moment, and it was just like, um, okay, so all of this stuff happened, but now what? And um, it was just a really bizarre, really, really bizarre movie. And I would definitely say this is something you don't have to see and that you could totally pass on. So that's it for today's episode. If you want to like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these videos and uh, want to see a new video come out every Monday, click the subscribe button right up there. If you want to leave a comment for today's question of the day or a video response, just make sure to leave them right down there. So for today's question of the day, I want to know what are some of your favorite survival movies? Leave your comments right down below. I'll see you guys next Monday, and that's it.